friends today we will explain you about our this softy machine which is highly advanced machine the first feature is this machine is totally 304 in the market you get machines in the lower rate but it's not 304 it's no it's all 202 this machine all the external parts and main internal parts which are in food contact will not rust at all so fully 304 uh, stainless steel even uh, this handle if you see this is also totally stainless steel 304 these are also stainless steel 304 we have our customers from maharashtra vita hi jeff hi. you want to taste the ice cream okay thank you for coming hi. so now we are uh, mixing the premix i have taken two liters of milk i am tearing it to zero and I am adding half kg of premix. This is vanilla premix. I am adding half kg to this. You can see the premix. Actually, the premix mainly contains of sugar, color, essence, and ice cream powder. Now, I will add uh, strawberry to this milk. Sal gaur. So, I will show you the internal parts of this machine. So this bolt is also 304 steel. Generally for other machines you will get plastic bolts. Even these handles of cheap machines will be plastic handles. So this is the head part. Here one flavor will be dispensed and here another flavor will be dispensed. And from this hole and this hole the flavor will be mixing and you will get mixed flavor from the middle. And these are the O-rings which are silicone O-rings. Generally in low cost machines they will be regular rubber O-rings which, which are not food grade and they will not give you more life. And this is the main rotating beater which churns the ice cream well and also it pushes the ice cream outside. So in this machine this back side goes into the gearbox and front side also there is a support system. It rotates in the center way. In regular low cost machines, uh, this, this support system will not be there. See, beaters will be rotating. You can see the beaters are rotating. Only the ice cream forms in these two chambers, wherein the chamber uh, size is about 2 liters. You can see the chamber inside. It's totally 304 steel and totally welded here. In many of the machines here, the plastic section will be coming. We are pouring the water first to clean the machine. We need to pour the water. One is for cleaning, other also for the leak test because the O-rings are fitted here. So we need to check whether water is leaking from the sides. If it is not leaking, we have fitted this head very perfectly. Now I am pouring the premix on the both sides. They get Pike it. We need to wait for 5 minutes so that all the liquid water we have poured in the top containers will go into this chamber. In this, at this time, it should be only in the clean mode. After we pour the mix, I am pressing the auto button. Now the compressor, motor and all the parts of the machine are switched on now. In the control panel, if you see, there are only majorly three buttons. Auto, clean, night mode. And these two buttons are for the hardness. The machine is very simple operated with majorly three buttons. And it's fully automatic. So after 15 to 20 minutes, the ice cream will be ready for serving. So this is the cone holder. You can put multiple cones here and take it one by one. So about uh, 10 to 15 cones you can insert here. The machine is also having MCB. You can see the MCB. Once if there is an you know, overload in the beaters or motor, this MCB will trip off. Now it's about uh, 99. The ice cream is almost ready. Within a minute, the machine will switch off.
Да. Ну ты да. И батька. А кем на кон? Пуш. А, very good. Stop. Ever the entire I'm making the Oreo ice cream now and this is the vanilla ice cream and these are the Oreo biscuits this is the blizzard blender I'm switching on So Oreo ice cream is ready. You can make n number of different flavors with softy and this blender. How is the ice cream? So I am uh, making the milkshake now. I am taking little, uh, little bit of ice cream. I'm adding strawberry sauce. Diet. No shade, the milkshake. Hmm. Anje. So now even the key, even the kids also can make thick shakes and milk shakes with this machine. Vanilla this. Chal. Ante. Add some mango crush. Dean Lapid Pike Bed, Pike Bed. Thick shake is ready within 30 seconds, so it's very easy to make different flavors of thick shakes with this. Kit Kat ice cream, you are just there. Chinna Chinna Makkal. Oreo gade. Oreo gade. What ice cream are you making? Kit Kat Oreo. Oreo. Okay, you fill the ice cream. Vanilla. Vanilla. Take more ice cream. Okay, enough. So, am I ready? I am Jeff. Kit Kat, Kit Kat Oreo ice cream. Is it easy to make? Yes. Next, fruit juice or just sir, banana shake. Banana milkshake. Ice cream fill jazz. Vanilla. Mm, 
Enough, enough, enough. Mixy, mixy. Motivate. Okay. Down. Now banana thick shake is ready or we can also call it as banana juice also, fruit juice also. You can make all kinds of fresh fruit juices very easily with this uh, ice cream machine and uh, blender. You can see how thick is the banana shake. Take some ice cream. What are you doing? What are you making now? Cold, cold coffee. Ice, ice cream. Ice ice cream. cream. Only cold. Cold coffee. Ice cream. We are adding some coffee powder into this. And we can blend it now to make the cold coffee. Fine, Pike bit. Pike Inka? Ah, very good. Now cold coffee is ready within uh, 10 seconds and the cost of this cold coffee will be only about 20 rupees but the market price is about 120 to 150. So now the kids will explain uh, how is the taste, they will give their feedback about the milkshakes and ice cream. Milkshake is the, it's good and yummy also, ice cream is the yummy. And uh, how easy to make the milkshake or ice cream? It is easy. Okay, did you ever think it will be easy to make uh, thick shake? Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, how is the ice cream, sir? Tell me, Chala bond. Chala bond the ice cream. Okay, thick shake. Flowers could have, uh, flowers could have born. Okay. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Bye. Bye.